morning, guys. Here we are out on the porch, starting the day off. Sophia came out too. Hey, Sophia. Hey. It's a lovely day. It's still really kind of cool in the mornings, which is so odd for July. Every time I'm like, I can't believe this is July. But let's see what the temperature is right now. Oh, it says it's 87, but it, I don't know. I guess the humidity is not here like it normally would be. Like you walk out and you feel like you're walking out into a, a sauna with steam <laughs> most mornings. But it's beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and start my day, get everything going. Bruce has already been out and done the chores, Dusty too. Um, and he's already started for the can and tomatoes today. So I'm going to get some breakfast and we're going to get started. Look at this. Say hi, baby. And now he's already back to sleep. Colby's at school. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, bro. You're not asleep now. You're just uh, wanting to go back to sleep. <laughs> And now, here's, here's that book right here. Mm-hmm. That's what we've been working on. And then there's another one, too. Uh, I don't see it right now. Oh, here it is. So this is what we have to deal with for today, of course. This, this one is one of the, excuse me, the Aunt Ruby uh, tomatoes. Oops. These are the uh, Cherokee purples. All right, Julie. This is the white Thomasol. And Kellogg's breakfast. Tomato. And this is another one of the Aunt Ruby's. So it's not green, like green and unripe. It's green that way. And let's see. Abe Lincoln. And this one is a regular old beefsteak that uh, I had plant like, I think one or two plants. Oh, and these are my favorites. Of course, they split from that rain the other day. Even in the high tunnel, they still split on um, Cherokee purple. I mean, not Cherokee purple, um, purple Russian. That's the one that's just really weird when it grows, but I'm telling you, it has an amazing tomato. And this is one that I picked earlier because I didn't want it to split. So we've got some beauties here and we're all getting all ready to go now, so can't wait to get started. That's that split from the rain. Had to get out some rains. Good morning, guys! <laughs> Starting off with making some PC this morning. Alright, so it's time for you know what to get the back brace on, run on down to the high tunnel, and all set to go. Let's go. guys so now I'm back from the high tunnel I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the uh, dinner on so I got these beef um, ribs yesterday seven dollars for this whole package which is really good but of course you know we have to have two packages because one not enough to feed all them boys because you know they're they're big boys they and plus they'll um, Colton takes it for his lunch 
it's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut them up, put some um, avocado oil on them, put a rub on them. And the rub that I have is actually something my daughter Amanda gave me. And it's, it's called Steak and Burger Rub. And it's by um, Backyard Safari Company. And it's gluten free too. So, and it's everything in it's supposed to be all natural. So we're gonna give that a go tonight. See how that works. So first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and slice these up. And if I can get them out of the package, they're pretty uh, stuffed in this vacuum sealed bag. Which, uh, a lot of times we don't ever see this stuff on the shelves. These, um, because it, we were at a different Walmart. So, gonna go ahead and just get them all cut so they're separate. Put them in a bowl. Put this in the bag over here. We'll see how these turn out. So I'm gonna show you how I do this and I'm gonna wash my hands first, so. All right, bam. so I got a bowl, put these in, washed my hands. I didn't open this, now I gotta wash my bottle. Do, 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 do. Put a little bit of avocado oil on, sprinkle on some of the spice to rub it in. It smells really good. Now that that's all done, look. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it in the crock pot and I'll show you the next uh, step. And everybody loves this recipe. Okay hey guys, so um, the little rub stuff came with the little bag too to put in extra back in the bag. Being, this is what I'll be using for that and that's because we don't want any sugar right now with us being on the carnivore diet. And so I got two crock pots, so you got, and I'm gonna go ahead now and pour some of this in, and you just wanna pour it in enough to get in the bottom. And that way they have some moisture because you know they're gonna make their own juice too. And we're just trying to get it. Set it on high, and Bruce is going to move these crock pots over so that we can um, use this area for canning the tomatoes. You hear that fizz? Bruce is getting the um, rings and flats ready. And yesterday at the Walmart trip, I never, I said, I, I wish I could have had that on video, but Bruce says, I'm in cannon jar heaven. <laughs> and he said, I, you, you thought you'd never hear me say that. And you I said, your whole life to hear that, didn't you? Yeah, I sure did. <laughs> All right, so they'll be cooking and then I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast and we're gonna start for sure on the tomatoes. That third one just always sticks. Alrighty, 
gonna have, let this heat up. We're gonna be fixing some of the stuff from last night. And of course, some eggs. All right, guys, the boys are down there pressure washing the front porch. Breakfast is done. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is make sure your sink is really clean. Get all your things ready as far as this is my water for di um, dipping my tomatoes, which I want to have that on high. And I am get my uh, cannon, water bath canner hot, my lids and rings in, and that pan is exclusive for just lids and rings. And I've always um, cleaned the sink out, and this is what I've been using lately, and I really like this stuff. And you know, I'm not being paid to say that, so <laughs> I just... But if they would like to pay us, we would gladly <laughs> take it. <laughs> I'm just telling you that it's true. It works really good. So um, make sure you rinse it really good. And now, here we go. Wash the tomatoes first. Always wash your tomatoes first, no matter what, even if they're homegrown. And now we're going to go ahead and dip the first ones in water and let's get started. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the hot lid off. And we're going to go ahead now and pack in the tomatoes into here. Usually, and like if some of these I couldn't get off. That's no big deal. Okay, be gentle on my tomatoes. Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful with the princess. No, that's gonna be too much. Pay only little ones there. Okay. Cause uh, you go, you only, you only want to go up to this line right here. Yeah, I think that's good right there. Maybe one little tiny one right here. Right. And that's what we do. And then once the um, they start to open up and split, that's when you know that they're ready to go in the ice water. You just love a helper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, all right. Well, we. I'll bring you back when it's um. The split is starting. Okay, guys. They are now splitting. As you can see, without the steam everywhere. You can. This one here, right here, is really big split. So. It's time now to go ahead, this um, big split, and go ahead and throw them in the cold water. You'll be all right. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, core these, peel the skins off, put the um, scraps in the little bowl, and you, you can use these skins um, like to make tomato powder or something like that. Uh, I have done that many times, so that's an option, but mostly the, we just give it to the chickens or the compost or just outside somewhere or whatever. And, uh, now we're going to go ahead and get started on the next ones to um so they'll start splitting
we're putting more ice in the sink and now we have added more tomatoes here. Sorry about that. And I have one of those uh, like hamburger smashers, what I call it. So, and I just start smashing. I've always used a potato um, smasher for all these years and they would rust really fast. So I started using this and it's fabulous. So I go ahead and get them all, you know, down. I don't take the seeds out. I don't do all that like they talk about. And if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But you go for it. <laughs> all right, guys. So look how much we've gotten full here. And I even did the, the um, some of the cherries because I have done that before in the past. So why not, right? It's tomatoes so this is a 24 quart pot so we we've got our jars in the oven and right now they're at 200 degrees and we have already um process I mean uh, sterilized the jars and Bruce is still over here working too we both have been doing it and it's went a whole lot faster this week than when it went with me doing the 17 quarts last week by myself. So, I mean, it's went like super fast. Well, when you got good health, that's just all there is to it. That's right. So, I'm going to go ahead and close you out because right now I just have it on um, a warm, well, I would say like medium. And... Chili? No, buddy, buddy, it's not chili. It's tomatoes. But the tomatoes go in your chili. <laughs> okay, guys, look at that pot. Completely full to the top. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on, let it warm up some, and then we're going to get our lemon juice and our salt ready. And we've already got the jars ready. So, um, we're going to bring you back on the next step. The uh, ribs are warming up, doing really well, and they've already started boiling. And let's see, what else was it? Oh, so now Bruce is going to go ahead and do, um, he's got the next pot ready for boiling the, the jars in, which we've also got the other water bath canner right there. And Dusty's going to put the apples from the dehydrator in the jars. He just came back from the chores, and what else was it? Oh, you were going to do the peppers for the freeze dryer. Mm -hmm. So, busy day. Hey, guys. So, here's what we have. We got all these sweet banana peppers. Now, Bruce is make, making other plants. He, he said he don't know if he wants to put them in the freeze dryer today. He's thinking about just slicing them up, putting them in the freezer for... Um, our, our on griddle, the grill on the blackstone and then we've got all the sweet peppers the blot the marconi and the regular bell peppers then we got the tam jalapenos and then these are the chilies with the ghost and one lemon pepper and those are the corvaches so as you can see this is we try to catch everything up as to where we are right now and go from there and then what this is all that's left of the tomatoes and those are basically not ready and the three that we saved are for sandwiches. There's all the dehydrated apples packed in jars. No need to um, vacuum seal those because they won't last long here at all. And uh, I think there would have been more, but the the half di de the dehydrated that was only half full, um, there was definitely a squirrels in that one because there was none left in that one once I opened the trays. <laughs> Guys, so now I had to take and uh, grade some cheese up, and this is the coolest, easiest way.
be wondering why I needed the cheese. Well, I'm getting ready to make um, some macaroni and cheese. And I do have this recipe, um, a video, the recipe how I do it on the, on the, up here on my channel. And I will link that below. So I'm just going to be using the crock pot and it's 312. So it'll be ready at approximately 630. All right guys. So now we're finally ready to put everything in jars. We have all the tomatoes hot and the, um, we're gonna be, you're gonna put uh, one teaspoon of salt for the quart jars. And if you're doing pints, which we very rarely ever do pints for tomatoes, um, unless it's the only thing we have left. And Bruce does all this while I'll do this so I won't interrupt. We have so a system. Always messing with my job. And um, then we put two tablespoons of lemon juice which always you want to use bottled lemon juice because it's got the right amount of acid and um or you can use citric acid but it's two tablespoons for the um quarts and one tablespoon for pints and also you can use citric acid if you want and the citric acid i don't really use that but it's a half a teaspoon of citric acid for each quart and a quarter teaspoon of citric acid for the pints so now I'm going to go ahead and put that in here and it, these are going to after we it's a half inch headspace and if you're going to be um well you're going to be I don't know why I said that but some I know old school stuff people didn't water bath can them but we've always water bath canned them and one year I'll tell you this little mistake Bruce said oh let's just not do them like all the old school <laughs> drag you under the yeah. bus. Yeah. Don't ever do one thing wrong because you'll never hear the end of it. That roll of decks will spit it right out. <laughs> and, and anyways, it was only a, like, I don't know, maybe five jars and it, they ended up being no good. And so he's like, okay, you got to clear the um, bubbles out always and mix that lemon juice and salt up. All right. <laughs> Oh, you got two funnels today. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna put you to work. I see. Moving quick, aren't we? Wanna? Well, I want you to put a, one scoop in each one. Okay. Yes, sir. So I do my canning. One scoop in each one. I have some production in this thing. And the reason we don't put the lemon juice in first in the jar, unless you get your um, lemon juice basically to warmed up, um, your jars are hot, so you can crack your jars. And always make sure when you're canning that I, this is funky for this second one like this, unless we're both putting it in the jars. I want to always move my funnel in a minute. So. Uh, all right. Hold on. And as you can see. How was school today, Colby? Huh? What does that mean? Boring again? Colby's big joke is that um, he's so bored at the school that he that he uh, he'll open my Snapchats up. <laughs> he said that's pretty boring. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, bro. <laughs> As you can see, we've moved fast. And so when it comes to um, cleaning your lids off, putting your, I mean, your rims off of your jar, putting your lids on, and then just finger tight, not really tight at all. And 
and then you're gonna go ahead and put them in your water bath canners and run it for 45 minutes and 40 minutes for your pints, but that's also based on your altitude. Of course, I'm at, I don't know, like, we're, we're below the thousand feet. I mean, we're not far. No, we're not. Sometimes you just gotta mess with the princess. Some days. Okay, well you've told me before yeah, we're not. We're not. So. We're not above sea level. Maybe eight or 10 feet. Unless you go by there and stand on the hill. <laughs> or you know, like all your raises. Yeah, I know where they're at. <laughs> at the top of the ladder. I gotta get some salt too. Which one was the salt? A teaspoon. That's what I Just check and make sure you remember. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you gotta quiz the boss. I'm sorry. You keep right on quizzing. Cause y'all know how my brain is. We getting speedy up in here. Two funnel thing, unless we're both cannon. Is did you already get this one? Yes. Get okay. Lemon juice now. That's cool. Okay. Well, then I don't want to fill it all the way up. Oops. All right, guys. So you kind of get the must. I quiz in, <laughs> and uh, we'll get all these jars filled up, and then when we're ready to put this this water bath canner holds nine, and that one will hold seven quarts. So, and then pretty much we'll have to wait. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm trying to talk. You know I can't do two things at once. Nothing's changed there. The way this works here is... <laughs> rush, rush, rush. Go, go, yeah. go, 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 go. I think it holds 10, doesn't it? Or does it hold nine? It holds nine and that one holds seven. Okay. Good. You ask me this every time. And I will continue to ask you that. And you ask me every single time. How many half pints? How many pints? That's right. And then every time when you do a pressure can. How many did this one hold? Mm-hmm. And you always ask about the sea level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm... Okay, well, he's told me before. I know, I have. Many, many times. Okay. I'm gonna be dripping all up on your sleeve. All right. Come back soon. All right, guys, so we got uh, 17 jars filled up and we just want to go ahead and clean all the lids really good. I always go around them because uh, sometimes you don't see the cracks in the um, chips. So I've always been overkill on that part. Most of our jars are really old jars, some of them. Mm -hmm. And that's why we always inspect really well. And so we're gonna get all these wiped off. tighten those things up and they like I told you a half inch headspace
gonna bring you back on to show you. See, because I was cleaning it and I felt there's a chip, but you can't even see it, but you can feel it. It's barely there, and you wouldn't even notice it if you were just eyeballing it. So, it's right there. So that's why I do that. So now remember, you want this to come to a rolling boil. Once it comes to the rolling boil, set your timer for 45 minutes, pints 40 minutes. I've got I've got the second tray that I've already put one in the oven but this is what I use of course they wanted me to use our sauce but I love this stuff and it's got zero sugar it's the keto diet whole 30 tesame and look look how good we go on with this right am I right so I mix those two together and then I brushed them on, as you saw in the video. So they're going to go in the oven for 350 until they bake right on, the sauce bakes on, and that's it. And dinner will be done on that part. Okay, so the 45-minute timer just went off. And what you want to do now is set a 5-minute timer and let it sit and rest. And then once the 5-minute timer is up, then you can take the jars out of the canners. And then you'll put it on a towel or something because you don't want the hotness to go on to something cold. And so we just put towels down and that's it. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna make one more thing for dinner as if so it's gonna be field peas with snaps and some canned tomatoes and some bacon grease. So I'm gonna put a little bit of bacon grease in here. Let me see if I can get you where you can see it. All right, so I keep the bacon grease in the freezer because I don't use it as much. And you know now that I've been using my Blackstone A little hotter. All right, so there went that. A little hotter than I expected. Oh well. You hear that? And I always smell it because it smells so good. Now let that heat up and put a lid on it. And of course I get the wrong lid. show you dinner now is served the the ribs and of course this delicious macaroni and cheese which I said I had a recipe for mm. okay and all the peppers now are cut and Bruce is already done with Colby the uh, pickles for um, we have I don't know I have to go find out how many it is Hey guys, where y'all going? Plaza Azteca. Woo! Okay guys, looky here. 24 quarts. I've already wrote on some of them, ready to go. And 
now we are he's gonna go cut grass there we ended up with nine buckets right Bruce nine buckets of double batches in lime right now the pickles yes so Doug, Colby and him mm -hmm. so that would be about a hundred because I finished up the tomatoes so that would be about a hundred and thirty quarts of pickles for this week Woo well we won't get them done this week they'll be close no. to being finished uh, this is Tuesday yeah not unless you're gonna climb somebody <laughs> you're gonna go cut grass though yes and I'm gonna go make that candle guys he changed the um flag bracket that we got yesterday for trading with the pickles isn't that awesome and I didn't even ask Woo tell him Julie I was gonna see if we could catch you all Hummingbird out here of the day. Hey guys, look, I want you to see this. He is literally sitting up there on the line. Sorry for the shaking, but I'm holding it. <laughs> He's not coming. Hey guys, so now guess what I'm doing? I'm making this candle. Um, so I have a, a video on how I rendered the wax down, plus I have a video on candle making. So I'm um, doing the candles. But I don't want to bore you for any longer on some things that's left to do today. Uh, I've got to go fold some laundry afterwards. Um, and then i uh, got to go close up and check on every animal and stuff. And then that's pretty much going to be it for today. Um, hopefully we can get in the hot tub. We couldn't get in the hot tub last night because somebody, since we were gone, didn't say that it they had tripped the breaker or whatever happened I don't know but nobody knew nothing about it so anyways um we'll get uh it's it's up to temperature and everything again so I'm tired I need some coffee but it's too late for coffee it means I have trouble going to sleep so guys I think I'm gonna close here and I wish you all the best and take care until next time <laughs>